My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog, and I'm here to show you how to navigate your QuickBooks Online files. So what I have is the QuickBooks Online test drive file um, for Craig's Design and Landscape Service. If you want to replicate what I'm doing, you'll go to Google or Bing, and you'll just search for QuickBooks Online test drive. Oftentimes, it's the first link that appears in the list. You'll know that it's the correct link because the description will say test drive QuickBooks Online, and then the URL will say something about redirect and test drive. What I want to show you today is how to generate your profit and loss report and then how to view that report on a monthly basis so that way you can kind of see trends and compare to see if there's any anomalies or spikes um, in profit hopefully but also in expenses that you were unprepared for. So when you're looking at your QuickBooks Online file on the left hand side you'll click on reports. It's often in this favorites box up above but if it's not in the favorites box You'll look in the box called Business Overview. You're just going to scroll down until you get to Profit and Loss. You're going to see multiple Profit and Loss options. For this example, I just choose Profit and Loss with no text after that. If you want this to appear in the Favorites um, box up above, you'll just click on the green star and that'll move it up there. To open up the report, you just click on the text Profit and Loss. Right now I have the Profit and Loss Report for Craig's Design and Landscape Service from January through September. If I wanted to view these numbers on a monthly basis that I have various columns, I'm going to come up here to the upper left hand corner where the text says Display Columns By. I'm going to click the drop down and change it from Total Only to say Months. On the right hand side I'm going to select Run Report. I can now see my Profit and Loss month over month. Because this is a sample file, there isn't any data earlier in the year, and if you're doing this later than now, you're going to find that it's a, a rolling two or three month period with data. When I review the profit and loss report by month, what I'm looking for is unexpected changes or unexpected trends. Um, also, I'm doing it as a, a chance to kind of project. For example, Craig's Landscape and Design Service, I, that's going to be a seasonal business. And so the profit last by month might help me identify when my slow season is coming based on last year and when my business will pick up based on earlier this year. So I can see that it seems like business uh, is a little slow in the summer, which I think is kind of strange for a landscaper. In addition to looking for uh, trends in income, you know, highs and lows of the income, I'm also looking for any sort of spikes in expenses. A spike in expense could be something that I forgot about, such as an annual subscription of software. It could be a mistake as well. So when I look this over, I'm just looking to see, is there anything here that doesn't really match its neighbors? Do I need to investigate it further? As I look down, I can see that there's a rent expense of $900. I don't see it in the months prior and I don't see it in the time after. This is the sort of thing that as the business owner, I would know if it's correct. I would know if I'm paying rent for an office. But as a bookkeeper who's coming in and looking at someone's books for the first time, I might think this is strange. I might think that it's strange that I don't have expenses before or after. If my client started renting an office in August, likely there would be rent expenses September and there just isn't. If you find that this is true for your business, if you have anything you're unsure about, you can always click on the number and just see the detail behind it. So I can see this is a bill. Um, the vendor for the bill is Hall Properties. The memo is building lease. Looking at that, I can see that there's nothing to be concerned about and this is a, a valid bill and there's not a mistake on my part and there probably will be a bill that comes up for September. I'm going to go to the upper left hand corner and click on back to report summary to take me back to where I was. So this is just one of the various ways that you can customize your profit and loss report if you want to view your data with just a slightly different angle. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you customize and create the reports of your dreams.